Hey guys, what's up? This is Vince from WhenInManila.com and WimPlays, always streaming on our channels on Facebook. Do check us out. We're gonna talk about the new metas I've been seeing right now, especially this one, where uh, I guess before this there was the whole Terminator slash um, slash reptile with uh, tri spikes that seemed to be the meta that I've been seeing around, but. I have that, and I lose a lot to this type of team, not exactly this, but very similar. I, I lose a lot to the double aqua or the triple aqua, if you haven't been seeing those. So I'm going to talk to you about them and how you could possibly succeed with them. So here is the meta. Where is it? So, uh, this is my version of it. But I'm seeing a lot of the double aquas with a plant or triple aquas. Let's talk about the triple aqua. The triple aqua I usually see is this. Exactly this. Three of them. So all three can generate energy with the tail slap, the Nemo. All three can kill. This is a good killer, especially especially against beasts that do the that have the that crazy uh, high chance, crazy high morale for for last stand. This fish hook is very helpful because against plants and reptiles, which are usually the tanks, this adds damage to them. So uh, you get attack plus when attacking a plant, reptile, or dusk, mainly the plant and reptile that I go up against, uh, especially the, the plant up front, the tank, this is very helpful. And this is a very good endgame card because it makes sure that one-on-one, uh, -on -one, I call it the closer, your last axie standing, your, your third axie in the end. Um, it m almost makes sure that you go first, and that's a big deal when you're going one-on-one -on -one and you're both down to like 10 life. Who goes first the next round? This really helps. A lot of times you get to go first with this one. Uh, it counters a lot of debuffs, uh, slow down debuffs, uh, uh, speed down debuffs. So very, very useful thing. So I see three of these. My only complaint against three of these is your front one is not it's not tanky. So if the opponent just says, you know, a good you know, you don't have good shields. So if your opponent has a good card, good four set of cards, you're you're pretty much done for as compared to a plant where you you're very tanky, uh, even if they have a good five set of cards. Uh, if you have the right shields you still won't die this one's very difficult but then again it all depends on card draw with the right card draw and all that i mean you could do some good damage already before he dies so i've seen the triple aqua sets with this so with that this is my closing aqua, uh, aqua for my set and it's been doing really well i've been testing it out i've been winning way more than 50 percent of my fights lately but i also the servers have been down so i don't know if if it's not matching me up to my right mmr it's not uh, anyway <clears throat> so this is my closer uh we talked about the tank up front so this is the tank i like with this double aqua set so with this double aqua set um you don't need both my aquas have Nemo, so both of them can generate energy. So you don't need the full-on energy generation. Uh, actually, let me look up all Axie cards. Forgot to prepare that. So you don't need the full-on card energy generation from your uh, plant. Because usually, most plants would have both Sirius, which is this one, Vegetal Bite gives you one energy and they'll have that bug card that disguise which is this one gain one energy when comboed with a plant card so you don't need the disguise anymore in this case um as far honestly you might not even need the serious uh but the other options for mouthpieces for are only these are only these four <clears throat> so I guess some healing, maybe, keep you alive longer. Either uh, any of these three could be an option. Because you just want it to tank. So maybe, just maybe, uh, you could switch out for some healing for that. But the one I got still has that. That way you still get one energy. Uh, I, I would assume that it's better to have one sort of energy getter. 
from this one as well. So if you replace that with that, with a... Uh, uh, <clears throat> With a card that heals, uh, I'm not sure you might need to replace one of these. But now, uh, with the pumpkin, you get to stay alive longer. Uh, you could also replace that. Uh, I, I maybe if you maybe you need more damage. So the pumpkin is the back piece. Um, Aqua stock gives really good shield and a little damage. So I've always been a fan of this, and possibly against aquatic cards could give you some some uh, energy. So this could be an option as well for that. Uh, I'm not that big a fan of healing for <clears throat> for your plant because you go last, so you kind of have to you kind of have to risk it whether you heal now. But if, if you're like down to a hundred life or less and you heal next turn, you go last, so you'll probably die before you get to heal. So I'm not a fan of that. So anyway, for me, I chose the pumpkin also because. For this set, I, I I don't usually I'm not usually short on energy. What I'm short on is cards. Uh, I seem to need more cards to play. So that's where these two come in. The pumpkin, both healing, and then if I don't, I mean both shield, and also if I don't tank it out, it I draw a card. So I'm okay with this. And then the this cat tail is a, is a game changer. If you time it right, and you get attacked by beast, bug, or mech cards. What are mech cards? I don't know. Does that mean... Yeah, what is a mech card? There are no mech cards. <clears throat> anyway, uh, if you time it right and you get attacked by a beast or bug card, you draw each time. So this is a huge deal and it changes the game. I win a lot of times if I trigger this. Uh, and then this one does really great damage because most of the time you're going last, especially if you're full-on plant, uh, full, uh, pure plant. Your speed will be slowest. You will go last. This does great damage. So this is the plant I'm running, and my midliner, I'm still debating, but so far, no, okay, I'm not debating, I tried it. I tried putting this at the end, and the reason this is not a good closer is because uh, he doesn't have a card that makes him go fast. If he doesn't go first, he's, pre he's pretty much loses. If he goes first, yes, he'll win, uh, but if he doesn't, he doesn't. So uh, this usually, when he gets to go first, that's, that's where the battle is and i get to win with this one uh so this one i like as my midliner because now he has a hard time killing it because it keeps healing uh this double aqua uh anemone card each attack four, you get 80 damage plus 100 healing plus 40 shield so that's just massive the 40 shield and the 80 damage and the healing this one I actually want to change. I think I, I prefer Lamb over this one. Lamb. I'm not sure I haven't been able to test it, but playing around with it, I think. So for the mouthpieces, I have Piranha. You have these four choices. Um, wait, sorry. Wrong. Not that one. Uh, yeah, mouthpiece. Yes, the mouthpiece. Uh, I think I would choose Lamb. More shield, and possibly when you're low on life, you do much more damage. Uh, and then you get to heal after. As compared to this, half the shield. Uh, constantly more damage? But yeah, I think I think I would play around with Lamb a bit more, because he does get pretty soft. So I'm not sure, but I think either one's okay. Don't know about Fish Hook. Maybe Fish Hook would be okay. But yeah, actually any of those three would be okay. Maybe not this. That's overkill on the <clears throat> on the healing. And you kind of need more damage already. So one of these three may be okay. So that is my current set. Uh, with this tank up front to make sure that my back two are getting the cards and the energy they need uh, before, they, before they attack. So we'll test it out now. Hope uh, Sometimes it's hard to get a match, so hopefully it's okay. Okay, so hopefully... Uh, let's swap. Oh, see, there you go. Double Aqua. As I was saying, Double Aqua. Very, very common. Oh my god, yeah, pretty much very similar. Huh. No Nemo on this one, though. And then this one... Oh, wow. So this one's a tank tank, because it just heals. Okay.
<clears throat> so yeah, this one's a tank. This is a, this is a strong tank. It heals. <clears throat> so I need to get rid of this. Hmm. You know what? I will wait one more turn. I had a feeling he was gonna do something like that. <clears throat> so... So it's... Hopefully that's enough. Oh my god, 165 shield. Maybe it's not enough. Oh man, I need to look into this tank. This is a good tank. Oh, fudge. It's not enough. The hell? <clears throat> that was bad for me. That was really bad for me. So yeah, that was really, really bad for me. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. We got lucky there where the pumpkin, you know, helped me survive one more round but that's about it <laughs> shoot I do not have enough to kill it this round so yep I can't do anything this round so hopefully next round Come on, guy, what you doing? So this guy, this one has a lot of DPS. Draw card, targets in last stand. Can't enter last stand. So lots of DPS. If this actually attacks first, which it seems to be. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a lot of energy. And I don't need energy, so I guess I won't play that. That way I don't have I don't redraw it. <clears throat> Let's do that just in case. So is that uh, eight sixteen twenty four? So yeah, way not not enough at all. <clears throat> Unless it crits. Come on, give me a crit. One crit. <laughs> one. Get out of here. Get out of here with one. <clears throat> That's pathetic. Oh, okay. I'm in good shape, though. Nice. <clears throat> so get a little healing there. And I guess just... Just go all out this turn. <clears throat> it might not be enough to kill it, so... But hopefully, hopefully I'm in good shape for the next round. <clears throat> yeah, it was just a bit short. Huh. 
Huh. I should be good, right? Should be good? Should be? <clears throat> but that's funny that, as I was telling you guys how I see so many double aquas. There you go. Double, triple aquas. So, there you go. That's the current meta I, I'm noticing from playing a lot. Uh, and, yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm. Uh, it's not here, but uh, the recent season I, I fell in the top 100. So, I've been experimenting a lot, uh, as you can see from the reward. Uh, barely made it in the top 100, but I'm still claiming it. Uh, and you get rewards if you're in the top 300. So, actually, um, I was a few seconds short. I won the next match I played. And I was actually, I, it pushed me up to like rank 70 something. And then I thought that was my rank. And then when this came out, I was like 99. Like, oh shoot, the last match I fought didn't count. I guess, I guess the season ended as I was playing it. But anyway, still top 100. So I'll take it. <laughs> so yes, that's my current meta. Here it is again. Uh, you want a good plant up front that doesn't need a lot of steel. So one steel is enough. Uh, because at least my two other aquas have... Tail slop, so it gets me energy. All three of them get me energy. Uh, this guy's my DPS uh, and closer. He's my last guy because he gets if he goes first, he's he does good damage. Uh, this guy's my mid guy because he's hard to get through. So when they do a little damage, I get to heal up. Uh, so it's been working okay for me. But either way, if you want to swap things around, the double aqua seems to be a good way to go, or triple aqua. Anyway. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Sorry for that. Uh, uh, hopefully, that uh, helps out in some way, shape, or form for you guys. So if it did, please do subscribe, like, share, and do watch us play live on WinPlays on Facebook. But yeah, my name is Vince from WhenInManil.com and WinPlays. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.